of all the succulents that I have, there is one succulent that I'm most impressed with when it comes to speed of growth, ease of care, and propagation. That would have to be my Graptivaria Lovely Rose. Hello there, my name is Liz, a self-confessed succulent addict. Welcome to my channel, Growing Succulents. This is Agraptopitalum paraguayensi, otherwise known as ghost plant, and this is Echeveria derenbergii. Beautiful, beautiful rosette forming succulent with red tips, especially when it's stressed out or grown in the sun. One day, someone had a brilliant idea of crossing or hybridizing a Graptopitalum paraguayensi or ghost plant with an Echeveria derinbergii. And the result is Graptoveria titubans. And when they're grown hard, they form this light pink tinge on the edges. One day, this Graptoveria titubans experienced some trauma or something happened wherein it grew a monstrous form. This is Graptoveria lovely rose. So Graptoveria lovely rose is a Korean hybrid that is a monstrous form of Graptoveria titubans. This is my mummy, Graptoveria lovely rose. And from this mummy, <laughs> I have produced a few babies, well actually many babies now. But the babies, should I say one of the babies I've discovered today, got attacked by a mealybug. Some of these came from the other ones, but this baby here, lovely rose baby, look, mealybug, oh, die. Okay. <laughs> This is the only time I hate mealybugs is when they eaten through the whole plant and because of the rain it rotted and now it's disappeared but okay we're gonna leave this and we're gonna go to the rest of the lovely rose where I got most of this from so this one here all that's left of it was these two pieces it was deformed because of the mealybug. So it's trying to hide itself from the mealybug and form ugly shape. But I'm still saving it just in case. I just make sure that there's no mealybug there. Yep, there's one still. See, oh, there's one hiding. There you go. Go away. Now, hopefully I could still grow that. These are my three, four lovely rows. Okay that I've grown from that mummy and I already harvested some of the leaves. Okay, put you here, you can go there and this one can go here. So this small one here, it's still got the shape on the top but it's already missing a leaf in here. So what I like to do is might as well take off this one. This is already sort of borderline that's drying. So it might not take, and you can see there's mealybug, see there's mealybug there. So hang on, we put that in my stash. Now this one probably is not going to grow. And I'll just clean this up, look mealybug, fluff, and oopsie, might as well take that off. Because there's no point hanging on to uh, something that's already been attacked, and then that one too, okay? Because I could still grow babies from that. And this one is already deformed, might as well hack it. Okay, and there you go. So I'm going to leave that one. Still cute, look. Okay, so I'll leave that one. And I just have to uh, spray that with my Eco Pest Oil. So just in case there's more mealybug there, 
it will be a dead mealybug so one just pop out look that dark spot there that's a mealybug now this other one I can see mealybug as well here look I've already stripped some of the leaf there look see that white fluffy bit that's a mealybug so let's go down here and then that one there the baby might as well spray that and this one too and hang on I'm going to remove the bottom leaves see look got mealybug hang on see that white fluff that's a mealybug oopsie now it'll be a dead mealybug just going to remove some more leaves I was going to do an arrangement video with these ones but they're getting attacked by mealybug then there's no good so we have to treat the problem first before okay see the fluff underneath this is my first experience with mealybug with lovely rose now I'm gonna leave those leaves there because it's really nice shape and that one can go in my stash and I'm gonna spray this one there you go now that one hopefully they're all dead now put you back there but I'll keep an eye on that one and then this one over here we'll check see it's got mealybug as well and oh this beautiful shape in it just beautiful shape now they grow fairly quickly see look fluff see that little fluff that's mealybug 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 oh mealybug I don't like you bugging me why don't you go away look mealybug okay now anyway this one now come here I haven't got my little camera sling holder thing. <laughs> so let's put you on the edge there. Spray. There you go. Now this one's the same. But I'm going to remove some of the leaves because you can see it's been ravaged by horrible mealybug. And it's just sucking the life out of the other one. So that's enough. Now this one I'm going to save, but look how many uh, lovely rows do I have back now. So I'm supposed to give back one of these to the person who gave it to me because her lovely rose died. Uh, I don't know which one to give her now, but, or should I just wait till the other ones grow so I can give her a couple. Now let's take this one inside the 30th I put the 30th it's actually the 31st okay so I have to check doesn't matter one day doesn't matter anyway I'm still stuck with yesterday <laughs> what happened yesterday <laughs> okay so now I'm gonna so this one's now see that sort of brown or yellow drying up that's not gonna take but I'll just leave it here they normally germinate Okay, so that's the term I'm going to use. Because it's like a seed, isn't it? The leaves are like seeds. They germinate uh, pretty quickly. So this one's here. These are my new batch of lovely rose. As you can see, they've got one, two, three uh, leaves uh, that I propagated them. And then that one, I've already removed one of the mother leaf because it's dried up. And look, there's two babies, so two lovely rose and then that one's got a cluster it's like four see this is now 15 days later let's go take a look at our little leaf propagations they have grown I've got some Little baby, lovely rose growing. Look at that. It's even got roots. Look at that. So I got one, two. Have you got more? Three. Oh, that one's got roots too. I mean, the baby's not that big yet, but it's already got roots. About really ten. But I'm only taking, hang on, I'll leave those two here. I'm still going to leave them there to grow. Oops, hang on, another one. A uh, one, two, three. I'll, I'll leave them there for okay. So about a dozen, and I'm only keeping a one, two. That one doesn't have any roots, so I'm gonna put that back. So one, two, three, four, six. One, two, three, four, six. Okay, that's six. 
I'm going to put this aside because we're going to pot this up. Now, okay, this is now a shallow pot but wide, okay, so it's a bit wide, just like the other ones, or this is the ones that were tiny, remember? They were small. So that one now, look how big that's grown. And the cluster, I've got one, two, three clusters there. Oh, this one has got, <laughs> I didn't even notice that. I thought there's only one baby. There's two of them. So one, two, three as well. And this one, two, six, eight in 15 days. That's the growth rate of this grub. To very a lovely rose. Also, I've got it planted in my tropical soil mix, which is there. You go. Can you see the pumice now? So those little white ones are pumice. So it's the same soil mix as this one that I'm using for this one. Okay. So now I'm just gonna top this up. So once they grow roots. Then they're old enough to uh, start growing fast. So you want to grow them fast. Tap, tap. Okay, settle down, settle down. And I've got two different grits of granite here. So this is the normal stuff that I use. So that's the standard. This is about 3 to 10 mil. Now this one is like 1, 2 to 3 mil, tiny. Okay, so I'm going to try this one and use it for that so the whole idea of this is just to get them to grow roots and fight their way through the soil because the soil is moist and there's moisture in the bottom the roots will try and go reach out for so i'll just poke it there and sort of just there you go so the roots can uh, get covered a bit, so I've got six, okay? So I put another one here Just wriggle 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 and sort of help the roots along With this one now, I'm gonna wait about another uh, Week before I start watering this one now because the soil is still pretty moist so you can see that that's still moist I'm now gonna keep my Graptivaria lovely rose babies near my grow light so it's not really directly under the grow light so it's about half a meter away from my grow light but you can also put your Graptivaria lovely rose outside not in direct sunlight but somewhere where there's bright light and since I only put it up this Graptivaria lovely rose with its teeny weeny roots. I'm not going to water this for another week But for the purpose of this video that this is how much confidence I have with this plant I'm going to water it straight away And so now I'm gonna leave this to grow under my grow light and my second generation Graptivaria lovely rose once they get to about this size, I water them every second day. After checking, of course, if the pot is light. And that way I can determine whether they need watering or not. My other lovely rose. Oh, you're so beautiful. Okay, so this one's now. The ones that we sprayed with mealybug, they're the ones that were that where we took the leaves from. So there's a few of them. Okay. Because this is all the lovely rows I've got. I got nothing else. <laughs> That's all I've got. So now, all these lovely rows we're going to put in this pot. So that way, we can have a nice lovely rose like that one. Ha! Huh. Beautiful. So these ones, I've got this growing in my master succulent soil mix. I'm just going to chit chat with you. And as I do, I'm just going to remove this. Okay, so that's my master succulent soil mix. The roots. This got nice roots, nice big roots. Look at that. The growth rate, I think, is still pretty good considering they are grown from a leaf. But anyway, so I'm just going to try and remove as much as I can of the soil and this one's got a baby or it's actually another plant so 
I'm just gonna see if I could leave that there. Whoops, it's come away. There you go, it's come away. So, but we have four plants, I don't like four. So I'm gonna put that still with this lot. Now, let's, I'm ready to put up and I'm using this quite a large pot, see? Put my hand and then the measuring cup. So this is like a standard measuring cup so you can see the size comparison. It's got a hole, so, and I've got my mesh inside and I'm going to put some of this advanced soil mix, even though I make a mess here, doesn't matter. Okay, so that's about um, almost uh, three quarters full, so I'm just pushing it on the side because my pot belly's out, so I'm going to get some more soil. Now, I'm going to get the tallest one. This one, we're going to insert down in the bottom, but I'm going to put some rocks in her as well to pretty fire her. Now, because I'm using a ceramic pot, it's important that you use a really more gritty soil mix for the plant or else they are going to rot. So this one, that one actually in the life that it's had in that pot which is so I've had this plant about a year one year and nine months I've taken the leaves off three months after that so those leaves technically are only actually a year and a half old or this ones they're only a year what am I talking about I'm talking about you you're only a year and a half old so there you go how about that hey hallelujah there you go see how quickly they grow and now I'm gonna put my dressing I'm going to use, for this one, I'm going to use the, this close one. Put some in the back. Now, because I've got a hollow spot or an empty spot over here, I'm going to pick one of these amethyst, I think. Is that one good? Yeah, I think that's a perfect, perfect size for that. Go in, baby. There you go. Oh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And after a week's time, I'm going to be watering this Grubtuveria lovely rose. So now I've got two Grubtuveria lovely rose in a pretty pot. <laughs> 